what's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today i am making a different video on not on astrology today's video is on who should not study astrology or who should not learn astrology or who should not go to an astrologer yes 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 many times i get messages from people who tell me oh i didn't know astrology and after knowing astrology my life became hell <laughs> astrology has destroyed me completely yes because now i know all the problems and i know there are no solutions because he said she said that you can't change anything yes there you go all the problems blame it on astrology right <laughs> so therefore i thought why not make a video on 10 types of people who should not study astrology okay and i hope you will like this video <laughs> because I will uh, use a lot of funny annotations when I say this video uh, and therefore if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere here there and if you want a consultation then please approach me through my website the description is there below you can go and uh, find my website there and please approach me through my website by seeing the options please do not message me in whatsapp okay because then I have to again keep sending you the link of my website which is already there in the description below and as I always say, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and he will help you understand should you learn astrology or not. But oh my God, you are seeing this video. That means you already know. That's all. That's it. Over. Game's over. <laughs> all right. Let us start. And yes, if you want me to make any other video, then please let me know in the comments. Or if you know somebody who is claiming that astrology has destroyed his or her life, then please share this video with them. Yes. And I have made another video, how to destroy your life with astrology. Please watch that also. Alright, so let's start. Now before we begin on the 10 types of people, it is important that I give you a warning. That this video can contain some uh, terminologies or some words or some phrases or some concepts which you will not like to hear. Okay. By that I don't mean that there is something vulgar or negative but there are some strong things which I may say which may pinch us very badly. So if you only like to hear sweet things, okay, I am not saying negative or positive. If you only like to hear sweet things then probably this video is not for you because if you are always in the la la land of fantasy movies and all this then Probably after watching this video, you will feel as if, oh, this person is a rascal, he's a criminal, he's spreading negativity, okay? And then you will mail me or you will write in the comments, oh, this sheer nonsense, throw him out of YouTube, this person doesn't know anything, he's creating fear, okay? So if you are that kind of a person, then please do not watch this video. I'm giving this warning straight away, walk away from this video, okay? There's nothing negative in the video, but there are some strong pinching things which I would say. Yes, it may not pinch you for some people. I am giving the warning. Okay, for 80% of the public, it will not pinch, but then there are always those special 20%, right? All right, so I have made the notes, so I will start. So, which is the first category of people who should not learn astrology? The first category is one who is completely headless. By that, what do I mean? Headless means you do not know what you want to do in life. Should I repeat? You have no idea what you should be doing in life. You are completely headless. The only thing you are doing is you are going to the office. And then you are coming and you are watching football. You are going out uh, with your wife. You are having party. You are chilling. You are drinking wine. You are going to different places. Yes, but you are completely unaware of what you are born to do what you should be doing, what are your passions, what are your hobbies, your likes, dislikes or should you be doing the job which you want, yes, or which you are doing or should you do something else. You have no conception about yourself. You know everybody else except yourself, okay. If that is your situation, please don't learn astrology or do not go to an astrologer because then what happens, 10 astrologers will tell you 10 different things and then you will end up becoming more headless than you were before. Yes, so your problems will rise a thousand million times. If you don't know what you want to do in life, nobody can tell you. I am telling you, there is no astrologer in this planet. Whoever you tell, I don't know how many fans they have in YouTube or how many books they have written. Alright, 
there is no astrologer in this planet alive <laughs> who can exactly tell you what you should do in life there's nobody if you know then tell uh, about that person to me i will go and touch his feet okay because then i will also ask <laughs> but there is nobody we can give you a direction that this is the uh, probable direction you uh, should try but that doesn't mean that's all yes because nobody is a rishi here whoever he or she may be okay so if you're totally headless then please don't learn astrology then you will end up becoming more headless okay now who is the next class of people who should not learn astrology yeah number two they only like the sweet things yes they cannot tolerate the reality of life see lord krishna says in the gita that that, oh my dear Arjuna, this material world is a place of suffering. So when we cannot acknowledge that fact, when we are always in the fantasy of love, romance, sexuality, yes, uh, and we are in the la la land, yes, all the time, <laughs> going out every night for a different movie or going out with somebody else every different night or hanging out chilling out yes we only uh, we are always in the fantasy we are in the imaginary world that yes i am doing this i am doing that but there's nothing in the ground then you should not learn astrology yes because then what will happen is you will see all the uh, negative combinations in your chart yes and then what happens oh my god astrology is very negative right it's all rubbish. All astrologers are jerks. They are cons. They are liars. They are thugs. Astrology is a waste of time. So, these are the statements which you will give. Yes, because you do not know the reality. Which means, today your life is good, tomorrow it may be hellish. That's the reality of life. Yes. But you somehow cannot accept that fact. So, then you end up criticizing astrology and astrologers. So, then probably you are in the wrong place okay so if you belong to this category then please stay away from astrology okay otherwise you will suffer because you do not have the power to see what's there in the reality okay let's see what the third category is ah this is big the third category is one who has no gratitude you only know how to take you don't know how to give should i repeat you only know how to take you don't know how to give if that is you <laughs> then please do not learn astrology yes because if you don't have gratitude yes what is gratitude gratitude means to be grateful to god for whatever he has given you if you are only finding the faults in god in god means in whatever god has given to you Yes, oh, God didn't give me this, he didn't give me that. No? Then astrology is not for you. <laughs> because then what happens? You will, uh, you even if uh, astrologer gives you a good consultation sometimes. Like I have done uh, astrological readings, many, many readings over the last two years. And then uh, sometimes I see that. I talk to people for one hour and I give them all remedies, all solutions, all suggestions. All, all the goodwill of the universe, I give them. And at the end, they are disappointed. Why? I don't know why. <laughs> I am not saying about everybody. There are some uh, few people like that. So if you belong to that category, that you cannot be grateful for anything good that happens to you, then please don't learn astrology. Because then you go to an astrologer like Sanjay Rajji or K. N. Rao sir, or maybe B. B. Raman was alive, or maybe Great Sage Parashara, yes? And then after Parashara gives you a detailed consultation, then also you will be like, <laughs> so if that is your state. You only want, 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 want. You never give anything to others. Then please do not learn astrology. That will give you immense level of suffering. Okay. What is the next category? Who are they? You have sky high expectations. Number four. You have this sense of entitlement. Like Duryodhana in Mahabharata had this sense of entitlement. I am the king. <laughs> Although he was not supposed to be the king. But he had this sense of entitlement. Yes. So he had sky high expectations. Because then what happens? You go to an astrologer. You expect that I will hear sweet things. Yes. 
but sometimes the astrologer doesn't say like that yes and he's also not supposed to say all the sweet things because this is like you go to a doctor and you have diabetes and he tells you no 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 everything is fine there's no problem in in your body sab acha sab badhiya aap ghar jaiye go to home be peaceful and enjoy you have simply wasted your time and money so a good astrologer is one who tells you the negativity and then he gives you the remedies so all this uh, conception of not saying negative things about a person like in uh, many channels in youtube i see oh don't say negative things na nah, it will get give give you karma na nah. yes so many people write to me that oh i took a consultation from that astrologer that astrologer didn't say anything negative that astrologer told me something negative so see when you don't know the remedies when you can't give the mantras then what do you end up saying you end up saying that oh don't say negativity right <laughs> anyways so the point here is if if you have sky high expectations yes from people then uh, you will always have the sense of entitlement and then when something negative is told to you you will always go and blast astrology and astrologers i've seen very bad what to do <laughs> now this is big number 5 who should not learn astrology you do not want to work hard you only want the easy way out if that is the case then please for sake of the heavens or for your sake please don't learn astrology should i repeat astrology is not a substitute for karma should i again repeat astrology is not a substitute for karma okay it can show you the path it can do give you some remedies some mantras etc by which the journey can be a bit smooth and you can see things bit clearly but it cannot walk the path for you okay so if you expect that you chant a mantra and then overnight without working hard you become a millionaire it's not going to happen okay that is not never ever ever going to happen it has never happened it is not happening and it will never happen so if that is you then please stay away don't come to this science otherwise you will suffer because then what happens you always go to 10 astrologers and you keep asking oh what to do here what to do there what should i do here what should i do there basically what you are doing you are trying to know the easy way out right <laughs> which is the easiest way for me to uh, go so now there's nothing wrong in that but that cannot substitute hard work just because you know the easiest path doesn't mean it is uh, not having any hard work suppose you want to open a channel in youtube then you have to ensure that consistently you upload videos yes like you check the channel of raf smart how many uh, subscribers he has infinite waters he has 1.2 million subscribers till today from 10 years every day he is uploading one video can you imagine every day from last 8 10 years he is doing that he has over 1.3 million subscribers it is not a joke to upload a video every day so if somebody tells you that okay you will have great success in youtube but then you have to be ready to put the hard work of uploading videos every day or every week or every two days whatever is your standard that you fix yes if you are free then upload five videos every day upload 20 videos or once in a week you upload but consistency has to be there but if you cannot do hard work or you don't want to do hard work and you want to just sit and relax in life and not do anything and then you expect that you will get good out of astrology wo please stay away okay you won't get anything now who is the next category here ah <laughs> number 6 number 6 is play the victim card you do not understand the law of karma oh my god my saturn is in this house my venus is here my rahu is there oh my god this is all a match fixing going on yes what astrology is basically what your horoscope is your horoscope is like your resume yes who writes things in your resume it is you yourself right so nobody has given you a afflicted jupiter or afflicted venus it is you only who has tormented that planet yes let's take the example of venus everybody is concerned about venus or suppose you are not having children or there are some problems then there's some trouble in your jupiter or in the fifth house yes depending on which child it is 
so who has spoiled that no 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 nobody has spoiled it we ourselves are responsible for that yes so if we always play the victim card oh he did this she did this now because of that person this happened because of this person that happened if only that person would have not done it i would have been successful if you are always in the victim card mode yes i am not talking about men women here all are equals then please do not learn astrology <laughs> yes victim card in any area suppose you are a girl and you are in a relationship and suppose there is some problem in the relationship yes then you call all your friends and you uh, say how you are the victim how your boyfriend is torturing tormenting and exploiting you yes maybe if you are a boy then you are saying the same thing about your girlfriend yes playing the victim card always you don't like the boss so he didn't give me promotion all truckloads of garbage that you deal with all the time yes so then please don't learn astrology because you will be in serious trouble because then what will happen you will say oh mangal is doing this shani is doing this i have seen people telling oh this mangal dasha took that from me <laughs> i mean come on <laughs> please don't the, don't blame the planners they are simply reflecting what you have done earlier okay the seventh category ah <laughs> if you are only interested in hearing about remedies but not interested in doing yes so what happens when i do consultations sometimes people they tell me oh you have given me this mantra that mantra i want that also give me another mantra give me another remedy okay so after the consultation i land up giving them some 20 30 remedies mantras and after one month when i ask them so how how is it going sir are you doing the remedies oh no i can't do yes my wife is not letting me do my children are shouting my boss is not letting me do so when you wanted the remedies you are very enthusiastic oh give me remedies give me something new some kind of masala you are getting na some mantra you are chanting so then you are very enthusiastic but once you get the remedies you don't do it yes so if you are that kind of a person please don't learn astrology or don't waste your money going to astrologers okay i mean to astrologers who know to give you mantras and remedies because then you will simply waste resources the astrologer will become rich but you will go down right <laughs> so please stay away if you are only interested in hearing remedies and not doing yes i think if some astrologer is watching this he or she will identify with this that you say something and then people don't do and after 6 months they say oh your remedy didn't work <laughs> okay number 8 you don't take responsibility for your own actions and you blame others always playing the blame game never taking responsibilities whatever is there in your horoscope forget it just tell one thing to the universe it is i who have done this wrong with my wife or my husband my son my father my daughter whoever it is in my past lives i take responsibility for that and in this life if they become my enemies and give that karma back to me let me accept it you do remedy zone you know that separate thing but at least fold your hands and accept the karma don't blame it <laughs> because it is said that nobody apart from you can harm yourself should i repeat nobody apart from you can harm yourself so whoever is giving you suffering that person is just reflecting back what you did so if you cannot accept this fact if you do not understand what law of karma is then 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 then, then astrology is not for you okay you will you you will suffer very badly yes because then you will feel that there is a lot of injustice which is done to you oh my god that person has an exalted uh, son i have son in libra so terrible it is right <laughs> all right which are the ninth category of people who should not learn astrology you are always negative yes you have zero optimism yes that means have you seen people the only thing they will do is they will criticize about others the only thing you are good at is finding faults yes so that is the case please don't learn astrology you will become billions of times more critical 
because then you will see oh in my navamsa this is happening in my dashamsa that is happening yes in my nadi that is happening in my kp that is happening in my gemini this is happening my degree is less oh my goodness so much negativity right so then please do not learn astrology because if you cannot be positive yourself you will end up becoming millions of times more negative yes so please stay away and if you like to do gossip then you come in this category so stop learning astrology last category you have no mental stability and spiritual inquisitiveness <laughs> should i repeat you have no mental stability and spiritual inquisitiveness if you come in this category that somebody says something to you and you are like oh my god what will happen this will happen that will happen <laughs> then please stay away from this and if you don't have spiritual inquisitiveness athato brahma jigyasa yes if you are learning astrology by seeing love compatibility horoscopes sexual compatibility how good a aries or a libra can have sex with a capricorn i mean come on that's not the purpose of astrology it's not sexology it is astrology yes it is jyotish it is not i don't know what to say <laughs> love compatibility readings love compatibility horoscopes the other day somebody was telling me why don't you make a video on uh, shri devi's horoscope na shri devi passed away yes so when i heard it i came to know that shri devi passed but i am like seriously man as the world of astrology uh, gone so down that now we have to discuss the horoscope of actors actresses the other day somebody told me why don't you discuss the horoscope of angelina jolie and uh, who was that person brad pitt yes why don't you do a video on jennifer aniston so that love triangle can you explain jennifer aniston angelina jolie and brad pitt can you explain that love triangle you see spice masala why not so if you want those kind of masala and you do not know what spirituality is what god is or you are not even interested to know yes you only are interested in knowing how good your sexual life will be after knowing the compatibility well then 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 please do not learn astrology <laughs> because if you only are interested in compatibility in gun milan or whatever you are whichever place you are india america i don't know yes you are doing this match you are doing that match that's the only thing you know or you are only thing you are interested then don't learn astrology because one astrologer will say oh your mars is not matching with him the other will say your jupiter is not matching the other will say your moon is not matching the other will say your lagna is not matching nothing matches you see <laughs> then what you do end up becoming more negative yes and then that is it you are totally finished and then you become a critic of astrology right so there you go 10 categories of people who should not learn astrology and now before ending the video oh my god but i belong to some of these categories yes oh my goodness so should i learn astrology now or should i stop it oh my god i can't stop it i know everything <laughs> no if you already know then and you belong to either of these categories then you don't have to stop just focus on improving yourself yes stick to some spiritual path chant mantras maintain a good lifestyle stay away from people who do negativity gossip yes maintain association with holy people with sadhus visit satsang programs in the weekends at least bare minimum okay take prasad sanctified food which is offered to god read the holy scriptures hear from the holy people visit holy places and spread spiritual knowledge by that you will get inner strength and then whatever is there negativity everything will be wiped out everything will vanish okay even if your husband or wife becomes your worst enemy you will go and say thank you madam thank you sir <laughs> you have given me my karma thank you very much all right so there you go that is it for my side i hope i could convey whatever i want and not miss uh, convey what i wanted to say yes so there you go if you're new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it somewhere here there and if you want a consultation then approach me through my website and if you want me to make any other video then please let me know and if you like this video which i am sure you would have definitely liked then please click the thumbs up and share it with 
those people who keep saying astrology is negative okay that is it from my side if you that's it bye bye see you